HCl. So what is the product? Ethylene, Ethylene will be the product. So Drengen potash is for elimination of alkyl halide. Sorry, elimination of hydrogen halide from alkyl halide. Among the following oxo acids, see, oxo acid means it contain an OH group and also it is having a double bonded oxygen atom. These type of acids are what we call oxo acids and it could be generally represented by H-N-Y-O-M. All oxo acids could be represented like this. Here, the hydrogen number could vary, oxygen number could vary. And here, you got an oxo acid. All oxo acids ha is having same central atom, right? The central atom is identical in all the cases, right? In these type of cases, how do we look at the acidity of the acid, if you ask? One way is looking at the acid and its conjugate base. So if you take the conjugate base of first one, ClO4 minus. This is the conjugate base of first one. And second one is OCl minus, then ClO2 minus, then ClO3 minus. After releasing the, releasing the proton, an acid will release proton. So here if you take this four species, the easy way to understand which is the more, which is the strongest acid, look at the oxidation number of that Y, which is the Y, which is the y atom over here? Chlorine. So as the oxidation number of Y increases, this ion will get more stabilized. Understanding? So if the stability is more for the conjugate base, acidity will be more, acidity will be more. So which is the strongest acid? Which is the strongest acid? First one will be the strongest acid. In another way, you can explain it like this. You have to look at the possible resonance structures. If more number of resonance structures are there for the conjugate base, it is more stable. The easy way is this, as the oxidation number of Cl increases, acidity also increases. Then which one is the answer? Which one? B is the answer. Because HClO4 is strong, then HClO3, then HClO2 and HOCl. Alright? Stoichiometry. The ratio of masses of oxygen and nitrogen in a particular gaseous mixture is 1 is to 4. What is the ratio of number of their molecule? So, indirectly they are asking if you have taken oxygen and nitrogen in the ratio of 1 is to 4, what is the ratio of their number of moles? So, you have to take 1 gram of oxygen as well as any, any amount you can take, let it be simple. So, we take 1 gram of oxygen and 1 gram of nitrogen. So, when I say 1 gram of oxygen, to convert it into number of moles, I have to divide it by molar mass. What is the molar mass? 32. And what is the ratio? 1 is to 4, right? So, whatever it is the ratio, we will take it in gram. So, 1 gram, 4 gram. So, 1 gram, here gram per mole, here 4 gram. What about the molar mass of nitrogen? 28 gram per mole. To answer to the question, this much is more than enough. So what will be the answer? So if you multiply both the equation by 32, you will get 7 is to 32. 7 is to 32. Which one of the following properties is not shown by nitrogen monoxide? Nitrogen monoxide, if you look at the periodic property, you know that nitrogen monoxide is a neutral oxide. Then, it combines with oxygen to form nitrogen dioxide. Definitely, this one combines with nitrogen monoxide, combines with half O2 to give what? NO2. It forms nitrogen dioxide and its bond order is 2.5. How do you find out the bond order? 
number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbital minus bonding molecular orbital divided by 2 but it, this is not a homo atomic molecule it's a heteroatomic molecule so what you have to do is when you are drawing the molecular orbital diagram you have to take atom 1 left hand side molecular orbital at the middle atom 2 right right hand side so here it will be nitrogen here it will be oxygen then what you have to do you have to build up the molecular orbital if you are writing down the electronic configuration sigma 1s then sigma star 1s then sigma 2s then sigma star 2s then sigma 2p z then pi 2p x which is having equal energy of pi 2p y then pi star 2p a 2p x equal to pi star 2p y this is the electronic configuration and if you are distributing the electron nitrogen how many atomic number of nitrogen 7 atomic number of oxygen 8 together 15 so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 then 15 you don't mind which is the atom all those things how do you how are you going to do for homo atomic molecule the same way you fill for hetero atomic molecules also so what will be the bond order now 2.5 then it is diamagnetic in gaseous state you don't require the help of mot if you draw Louis dot diagram when you try to draw Louis dot diagram n o whichever be the way you arrange there will be one unpaired electron it continues even in mot also we have seen so will it be diamagnetic no it will be paramagnetic so which is the answer d option is the correct one this one depends on if you want to answer depending on your familiarity you can answer here if you can isolate iron from feso4 it would have been more easier iron wouldn't have been so much expensive understanding so easy one you can see that you need a catalyst so these two you can easily eliminate not possible so the combination is between these two and here this step feo to fe is possible because in that blast furnace the same reaction happens but somewhere in between it is wrong right here so the correct option is this one so if you are treating fe with the chlorine if you are heating iron with the chlorine you will get 2 fe plus 3 cl2 gives 2 fe cl3 and if you heat it it will decompose to fe cl2 plus chlorine and in presence of zinc if you heat it again you will get what iron nothing what will happen is the F from FeCl2 zinc will be absorbing chlorine so ZnCl2 plus Fe so the only feasible reaction is option is B